Welcome to CalCast, your creator national podcast. God Network News, Episode 210. Welcome, GNN fans, to another episode of God Network News, the podcast that tells you what God's doing around the world, not what CNN tells you, but what GNN tells you is going on in the world. If you're tired of listening to all of that crisis network news and you want to hear what God's doing, well, give us a listen. He said, okay, and her daddy started to say, uh, for me and this old sheikh in this area, we decided, it's, it's like 10 years ago, we decided we don't need Christian in, in, in this village. We don't need Christian and church. So, so now, because my daughter, hear the voice from God and me my whole life I never hear the voice from God so wow. from this time, I decided to say okay the Christian they can do anything they want to do in this area wow so it was amazing <laughs> and I started to cry because uh I thought maybe I, I'm going, maybe I, I'm going to die, <laughs> and then oh, when she started to explain, it's uh, it was a different. I think I'm going yes. to die, and he, he started to say something. Yeah. So after after that, he said, and now I can give you my daughter, and she uh, he asked me how did you that. <laughs> He asked me, do you have a wife? And they say, I said, no, I don't have a wife. Yeah, so from this time, I give you my daughter. Just take my daughter, protect her. And if you want to marry her, just marry it. I don't need anything from you. Just to take my daughter because I see you have something inside. And that's something, it's helped my daughter. So I think my gift for me, and my gift from this sheikh is to give my daughter to live with my daughter. Ooh, I said, wow. okay. <laughs> it was an amazing story. And wow. uh, from the time I said, no, just wait. For me, I need to pray. <laughs> I will pray about that and we will see what God said about that. And uh, I will give you the answer. So that story, start, that that story I told you, uh, from that from that day, we went with Adija and started to pray to ask God what God wants for us. And from that time, we see God started to to speak with us about to starting the relationship and then to 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 live together. So wow, I went, that's amazing. Yeah, I went to Hadija's dad to tell, okay, I'm ready. I will take your daughter. And uh, he said, okay. He calling Hadija, come. Take your everything. Just go with the uh, salmon and go and live there. <laughs> live here and go and finding the house. And then he started to leave. And me told, told, <laughs> her, told her dad, no, I cannot do that. But uh, my faith is this so let me tell my family my daddy and my mom and then we were starting to i will i will i will tell my dad and then my daddy 
my daddy will come in here to talk with you and to see what the gift we can give. And then after that, we can finding the church and then we can celebrate. We can, we, we can get maybe some days to celebrate for that, to, for, my, for our wedding. So he said, okay, and uh, we started to do everything. And um, 2021 in June, so it, the, uh, in that month, um, I took Hadija and uh, we celebrate, we did, um, we have a nice day at home and uh, Hadija's gra grandmother's Hadija came and the brother Hadija came to celebrate with us. So it was a good time and good day. And now I'm with Hadija and we have a one daughter. The name is Anaya or Diana. <laughs> oh, very nice. Wow, yeah. what an amazing story. That's an amazing yeah. story. That is that is definitely God leading by yeah. his Holy Spirit. What an amazing, amazing thing that God did. And uh, it seems like the miracle of you coming together, God yeah. is using that in your ministry to cause your ministry to grow as well, to, to, uh, yeah. to be able to share the gospel with different, that Muslim group. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, uh, it was amazing. And uh, now Hadija, when he learned about how can I discover in the Bible, when he did the DBS and uh, asking the questions, so Hadija started to sharing the gospel for her auntie and uh, her brother and her grandmother. And uh, she started to sharing the gospel and the, all of this auntie and uh, her brother and uh, her grandmother, all of these are uh, now, they are Christians. You're listening to God Network News Podcast with your host, Cal Curtis. Look up our website at godnetworknews.com. Praise the Lord. That's, that's great. <laughs> yeah. So Hadija is doing a great work here in this area, in Segeji's tribe. He, she's doing a great work than me. So I pray. <laughs> so that is why I cannot forget these situations and this miracle in this area. <laughs> it is. It is a, definitely a miracle from God, but um, it also shows God's love for the people. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. His love. You know, for Sadija and his his desire to not only to to you know reach her with his with his gospel his truth and yeah. salvation but also mm. to give her uh, a family a family yeah. in in the you know in the in his kingdom you know a physical yeah. family as well in his kingdom uh, mm. to supply for her that's amazing mm. brother wow what an exciting story I think yeah. in many ways, my story is similar. Although my <laughs> wife was not a Muslim, she was from a, a very strong Catholic uh, background, but she met the Lord Jesus, uh, you know, in, uh, when, when she was working with some other Christians, you know, and mm -hmm. my wife is very strong in the Lord, you know, and she sounds very much like your wife. She's very, wow. you know, uh, and very anointed. Uh, and my wife actually felt like God called her to use <laughs> media to reach all of the unreached peoples of the world. You know, he spoke that to her one, one day and uh, when she was praying. And she has held on to that vision ever since. And actually, the ministry that we're doing right now uh, mm. with that's called create international it's the media ministry we make gospel films for unreached peoples in their heart language and the people 
the people that are in the film are from that people group. So they're the actors and actresses. It's in their heart languages. Uh, it would be like a short, like a film for the, for the, you know, the people group that you're working with and all the, mm. you know, and then some of the people in that people group uh, mm. would be in the film, you know? And so the story is very much when they see the film, they go, Oh, this is our story. And mm. it's talking about Jesus. And we've seen yeah. a real impact. And that was really all from my wife, how God called my wife that way. And uh, I always tell people, Oh, it's my wife that is really the, the, the one with the ministry. I just carry her luggage when we mm. travel. <laughs> wow. Wow. <sighs> it's such an amazing story. Also. <laughs> yeah, I know this. That's so exciting. So how has, how have things happened with your, with your ministry since that time? I mean, you're saying you, you have like 14 different groups. Uh, that yeah. are, I guess are doing DBS type stuff or DBS yeah. study and things like that. Yeah. So how did those how did those groups come about? Yeah. So uh, this group come from uh, when it, when I lived there in, in that area, I found a man of peace, and that mm. man of peace, uh, the name was Mnyamisi. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Yes. So that uh, man of peace, uh, the name was Mnyamisi. I started to work with the Mnyamisi to sharing the gospel and uh, to starting to, to discovering the word of God together. And then from, from Mnyamisi, Mnyamisi welcomed me to go for his house and uh, to discovering the Bible with uh, his wife and uh, kids. So we started there and the Miamisi started to share the gospel for the another house. Ah. So we started the group for Miamisi and the Miamisi started to share the, go the gospel for the, his friends and my wife also, my wife also, he started uh, three groups, different, different places in this, in this village. So he, she started uh, three groups. So the, the groups come from the Miamisi, the man of peace, and also come from, for this, my wife. And uh, wow. another, yeah, and uh, another groups comes from me and me and me i started a group groups there i start, i found another man of peace and uh, to find another groups so i started for the mnyamisis mnyamisis house and the mnyamisis started to sharing the gospel for the different different houses in segejus areas so the groups okay. come from mnyamis and my wife and me Wow, that's amazing, brother. That is yeah. so exciting. So of yeah. those 14 of those 14 groups, have any of them planted uh, like another um, another fellowship a lot, like uh, multiplying to a like another generation? Have any of those multiplied yet? Yes, yes, there is. So me, I started with Miamisi. And then Miamisi started to sharing the gospel for the another house. And then he started the group there. And that group started starting another group. So in, in which this all uh, 14 groups, we are in the, uh, we can call the second generation. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. We, 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 we are in the second generation because Mnyamisi started another group. Me, I started with Mnyamisi and Mnyamisi started another group and that another group start, started another group. So there is a- Well, that would, the, that would be three generations then. Three yeah, yeah, generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, three generations. 
So mm, many, many times, many times, uh, for, for me, many times, uh, uh, I forget to count it my first, so I'm starting. I'm starting <laughs> to from the Miamisi. <laughs> so that's yeah. okay. That's okay. Yes, yeah, it's, that's amazing, yeah. brother. That's amazing. Yeah. From, from me up to now, we have a third generation up up now. <laughs> If you enjoyed this episode, please consider donating to help us continue to bring exciting stories fresh from the field. Visit our website at godnetworknews.com and select the PayPal link on the right side of the page or consider becoming a Patreon partner to receive access to more valuable materials exclusive to our members.